Earth has just 24 hours left. During this time, the planet is a warm, wet world of tropical islands in an endless ocean. South America, Africa, and Antarctica form one supercontinent over the South Pole. The other continents are splintered into a collection of islands near the equator. Plants cover the land for the first time in history. It would have looked much different than modern forests today. Walking through the Devonian forests, it probably would have been pretty warm, humid, muggy conditions. You would see a lot of large seed fern trees that were present. You wouldn't see any trees that had flowers. So the flowering plants, flowering trees and bushes were not around in the Devonian. Walk through these forests and the only creatures you'd find would be tiny insects. It's below, in the vast sunlit seas, that animal life flourishes. The extent of coral reefs back in the Devonian was about on the order of a million square kilometers compared with today, which is uh, about 10 times less. These bustling cities are packed with inhabitants. You'd see coral and sponges, industrious trilobites, the insects of the sea, nautiloid cephalopods, the ancestors of today's squid and octopus. The reefs were enormous in size, rich, diverse, colorful. We see hundreds of types of corals, other creatures like corals, sponges, stalked echinoderms called signoids or crinoids. It would have been a really cornucopia of movement and color and shape. One of the first things you would have noticed was the abundance of fishes swimming around. And the Devonian is known as the age of the fishes for this region. Today, fish are one of the most primitive life forms on Earth. In this time, they are the most advanced. They come in astonishing varieties, from a few inches long to the size of a city bus. But one group stands out, the placoderms. The term placoderm means plate skin. So placo means plate, derm, just like our dermis refers to skin. So they have a series of these bony plates that cover their head on through back over their shoulder. The largest creature in the sea, and the largest animal ever up to this time, is the Dunkelosteus. The biggest creature I've ever been in the water with is a killer whale, and yet a killer whale would have been dwarfed by this enormous Dunkelosteus. This 33-foot-long, 20,000-ton sea monster is as fierce as it looks. Bony plates protect its head like a suit of armor. Its toothless, razor-sharp jaw opens in a 50th of a second, sucks prey in, then clamps down with a bite as strong as T-Rex. You definitely don't want to end up inside the jaws of a Dunkelosteus. If you're bitten by a shark, you effectively have a series of forks stabbed into you, or maybe at some point a little bit of scissor-like action with the serrated teeth. But a Dunkelosteus with its shearing jaws probably would have cut you in half. After gulping down its prey, it regurgitates the undigestible parts. Dunkelosteus is the undisputed king of this underwater jungle. 